everybody welcome back to Gotham Garage slash Jack of All Trades so today we're gonna do uh, a panel for my spa or hot tub I'm gonna run electrical and everything over to it put in a double double space breaker panel and then a timer too so the hot tub is not running all the time because that gets kind of pricey um, you guys can kind of see the conduit up there see so yeah, it right there yeah uh, some of it's already done. I got the conduit and stuff in. It's ready to go. Um, so all I'm going to do is run the wiring over, and install the, the breaker panel and the timer, and show you guys how to do it. Throughout the video, if you guys have any questions or anything, just leave a comment. And like if you're doing a side project that has you know electrical concept, and you got a question, let me know. Maybe I can answer it for you. Let me get set up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so set up outside. You guys see the wiring hanging down? Uh, I had the hot tub wired before, hardwired. Uh, so we're going to put up the panel. The little hole that's in the wall right there. Um, LB is going to go there, come out, and then the panel goes right up above that. So I'm going to put the LB in, screw it to the wall, install the panel, and then uh, go from there. So this is an offset nipple, um, it doesn't go straight up and down, it goes off to the side, which is, hence the offset, yeah. Watertight connection, FA, screw together, maybe, if I can get it. It'll go on top of the LB, and then the panel goes right on top of that. panel Put a lock ring on there to hold it.
panels on the wall. On the side here, you're gonna put the your outlet that you want, and then um, the timer's gonna go over here. I'm gonna put the timer in. This is flexible conduit. These are connectors for it. These are called rain tight connections or liquid tight. These are two half inch MAs. Slide it in like that both sides and throw it on. Um, I already got all this stuff cut out before we even started. So I can make this video as fast as possible. ring for the timer remote box. Another offset, another outlet box.
So you're going to need to get power from the power box to the timer motor. Got some wire. You need a uh, black, white, and green. Black's power, white's neutral, green's ground. So if it's a little windy, Outlet, I got all the wiring on it already. It's windy today. Come on. Cover on. Well, it's done. So, I'm going to pick you guys up so I can kind of show you what's going on here. So you got your neutral ground power. So on the, on the outlets, you're going to have a green screw on the back. That's the ground. You're going to have one screw on the side that's for... Uh, power it's gonna be a gold one and then the one for the neutral is gonna be a silver uh, power obviously goes into a breaker the white and ground go into the terminal up here um, you're either gonna have one spot with the grounding screw that's gonna bond both of them or you're gonna have a separate one somewhere else for a neutral um, this one's small enough, I just made the whole thing a ground. Um, if you don't have enough spots, and listen to this carefully, if you don't have enough spots, wire up both of these together and then run one wire off of these into a slot up here, it'll still work. Uh, same way with this too, same thing. It's gonna go into a breaker and these go up here. And here, you're going to have to bring in your power, which there's a, there's a template here. So, you're going to come in. One of them is going to have supply. You're going to have the hot tub, which is this one. This yellow wire here is a, is a hot. There's an outlet. There's an outlet in there where my hot tub is that's separately powered so I can turn the hot tub off and it'll still have power in there I wanted to do that for a reason um, so 
This thing only runs from 4 o'clock in the afternoon till about 9 at night. That's plenty of time. And that's all I want. So, in the LB right here, the conduit that I showed you at the beginning of the video, we got to pull wire from the panel. Do I want to do it from the panel? No. I want to do it from, I want to do it from right here. Pull inside. We'll pull wire through, and then we'll stick it through this way, through here. Then we'll go up to the bottom of this, and it'll apply the power on here, and then a jumper wire to jump to the other side. Only do that if you're doing 110, okay? 240, you're going to have two power wires. So you'll have like a black or two blacks, and a, you're going to either have one black and one red. Those are two powers, if it's 240. Um, other than that, you're going to have, you know, your black, white, and green, which is 110. Uh, the 240, you're going to have four wires. So you're going to have your two powers, your ground, and your neutral. You have to have all of it hooked up. So if it's a 240 panel on the outside out here, I'd put a ground stake in and ground this panel by itself out here. But since it's 110, I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and let me know. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire this up. Hopefully you guys can see. It's kind of windy too and there's not enough room. Um, I'm going to slide you guys over this way a little bit, but yeah. Here's the timer. I have a separate crown that's tied to that. And then you got your wires that are already on this system. So four oh four to eleven. Damn, it's a long time. Not really. It's only six hours. <coughs> Do. Oh, that's right. I gotta run this. Hold on. I gotta run this yellow through. Keep forgetting about this thing. There we go. Yellow's ran. Okay. So now. you guys when I'm done too. That way you guys can see what I did. I need to get a GoPro so you guys can watch closely. But here's what it is for now. This will work. Okay. And then you're gonna have your line in, which is the power which is coming from the breaker, which is not in yet. That's gonna go here on the second tab. So there's two white wires the two neutrals go on the front. Line in, which is your power coming from the breaker, goes on the second one. And the power going that way goes on the third one. Tighten that one up. And then 
ground, or not ground, the other power on the panel over there. Take your grounds and wiring them all together. If I can. Hopefully. Oh, there it is. Got your two neutrals here. Line in on this one. Power going over the hot tubs here. Both, all three grounds are tied together. That part of the panel is done. So now I can close this up and work on this. Neutrals and tie them all in. So we'll go there. Maybe it'll allow me. If I'm in the way, I will show you when I'm done. Could definitely do without all the wind. That would make it a lot easier. Alright, neutrals and grounds are done. They're all tied in. Hopefully you guys can see it. There in the corner, right there. Now, all I got is the three powers left, and then I got to bring in the main, which I'll show you guys in a second as soon as I get that ready to go. But I'm gonna put these breakers in real quick. Single 20s, two of them, one, two, Okay, another breaker. So 
this other 28 breaker that I have is strictly for the spa. I'm not tying nothing else into this line. This one gets its own breaker. There we go. That's how you do the panel. Um, I still got to bring in the powers and all that from inside, but uh, now I'll bring you guys inside and go do all that. Let me get it paused and get you set up in there. Okay, so this is called a wire snake, I think. Pulse, pulse snake? I don't know. You stick it through the conduit, hook it to the wire, and pull it through. Okay? Okay. So... Over by the panel, you have the, uh, the conduit that's going out. I can't turn it because of the way this thing's set up, it'll fall over. Um, I need a little bit better of a spot. Um, actually, maybe I can. So, there it goes. That spot right there, I'm going to go through that. And then I'm going to go up, around, and down on that corner over there. So, I'll go ahead and do that now. Man, it's a mess in here. It's alright. Gotta get it done fast. Not really. I'm just trying to hurry up. That way the video's not heck along for you guys. Okay. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. And if you do smoke, quit. It's still bad for you. Um... See, so there's wiring on the ground. I already have it ready to go. I already got my lengths. Like I said, I got everything ready to go real fast for you. Oh, so I'm gonna get the snake through here. It's almost there, and then we'll tie up the wire, pull it back through, and then uh, I will turn you guys the other way that you just were, and then wire up the panel over here. Now this wire, this panel over here is hot. There's this power going to it. Yeah, shut up. Um, yeah, the power going to this panel, so you got to be careful. So if you have a panel that you're working in, either shut it off. Actually, second thought, shut it off. Don't even try to mess around in it, okay? Because you'd be surprised on how stupid people can be sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'm fine. I'm not going to get zapped. I've done this a million times. Plus, it's only 110. It doesn't hurt that bad. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> wiring can you pull it Let's see if I can get a little set up here for you so you can see so you got a bunch of wiring like this so you're gonna tape this let's collect that okay so say you got wiring like that okay or whatever your ends are coming up right here you're gonna have one piece that's longer you're gonna tape fold this over keep your loop right there at the end tape this 
stick this through that line, that thing I just pushed through the snake. It's got a loop or a hook on the end. Loop it around that and then tape it up to the top of that. And once you do that, then you can pull it. You don't have to worry about it falling off. I'm going to tape this up so I can pull it real quick. Saves you a headache. tape on the loop. Oh, come on. Wow. There it goes. Okay. Put this thing in the way. go. Pretty windy today. I don't like it. side. Perfect. Lovely. Just great. Oh no, I didn't know. We're on the good side. I, say, I thought I did it right.
Now remember, not everybody is going to have all their stuff ready. So if you do this and you have a full thing of wire, make sure you pull enough out to cut it off and move it to where you need it. Because uh, it's a pain in the butt trying to start over. So you got your neutral, which is the white. That's gonna go over here. And it's gonna tie in, I believe it's on this big one. So if I put it on that one. Can't remember which one I put it on. Oh, was it this one? It's on that one. I'm gonna put that into there. Tighten that up. Be careful not to touch power if you are doing it live. I advise you not to, but some people are stubborn, like me. I'd rather just do what I need to do and get it done. Alright, so there's that. Grab yourself another breaker. This is a this is a 20 amp single pole breaker. Same thing as I did outside, you're going to put the power wire into it. And that's going to go right there, right underneath that. Put it in. While you're doing the wiring outside, you're going to leave it on, or leave the breaker off. Don't turn it on. Tighten that in once you get it in. Alright, so there's that. Now we go back outside. keep you guys plugged in.
put your jumper in there. yourself a service loop so you're gonna have wiring sticking out like that twisted into itself and you got some extra so power is all wired in got the loop up top I don't know hopefully you guys can see it Service loop there. The way if you have to do a repair, you can pull it out, cut it, and do a wire nut or whatever. Okay, now we put the cover on. Two. 57, okay, that'll work. Alright, so I'm gonna set you guys up in here, turn the power on. Now 
I'll turn it on and because I hear it turn on. That's it. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you guys watch me do the whole panel and wire up for the hot tub. Um, I'm sorry if some of it was sounded windy or anything like that. It is kind of windy right now today. This thing hasn't ran in probably three days. I was going to do it a couple days ago, and I didn't have time. The only time I had to do was today. And I had about an hour, which, uh, I got it. We're good. So, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And that's it. See you guys next time.